Red Jeep Tours presents In the Kitchen with Chef Andrew Copley and Friends. Brought to you by Exotic Motor Cars and Cornerstone Insurance. Welcome to Copley's in Palm Springs. You know, for the last 18 years, I've had the pleasure of being able to cook in this former Kerry Grant estate, but it's not where I started. And I've had so many great mentors to help me along in my career. I remember one distinctly. He took me from the countryside of North of England when I couldn't cook to the hustle and bustle of London, the capital city of England. I was able to work in some five-star establishments, learn my techniques, and be mentored all the way along. And for that, I'm very, very grateful. But now, now times have changed, and I'm still passionate about cooking, and I'm passionate to share. So now, I want to share the joy of cooking with you, my friends. Sky, we're going to have so much fun cooking with friends. Yes. Oh, Andrew, it is so good to be your friend. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Okay, everybody, welcome. And I have a very, very special guest today. She's the chief meteorologist of this station, and she's going to be my friend and helper in cooking today. And we're going to swap some ideas in cooking recipes. And this is Haley Clawson. Hey, Hi, how welcome. Are you? Good to see you. You know, I didn't totally need to interrupt, but thought we should just jump in. We are think. gonna jump okay, in. Okay. So place me. Where should I Okay, eat? I'm gonna put you here for me, Perfect. Haley. So Haley, basically, we have quite a little bit in common as well in our sports and activities, and we'll probably get to that a little bit later. But here's what we're gonna do today for the show. She has very little time, she likes to eat healthy, and she's not really a avid cook at home. No. So we're going to do a simple 30 minute meal and then in the second half of the show we're going to add some more ingredients to it. So at the end of the show, Haley, you guys are going to learn to do about three or four different types of uh, recipes and putting them together. We're going to school. Yeah. And this is really good for leftovers and the next day. This is kind of a healthy sauce. It's kind of a romesco. Okay. What that, does that mean? It's really like a tomato sauce, but it's flavored with a, usually red peppers, a little bit of bacon, and obviously the usual, the onions and some garlic and things like that. So the reason why I picked this one with me and you is because this looks like a lot, but it's everything you can get in the store. So will you get started? Let's get started. All right. So. For the sauce, what I'm doing is I'm going to use a, a larger pot, like a sauce pot. Now, because we're only making for three or four, the pan doesn't need to be too big. So medium heat, a little bit of olive oil. You're going to add the onions, and this is apple bacon. Okay. And in here, there you go, we're going to pop that in. It got excited. Beautiful. <laughs> onions. And then if you want to do the peppers, and okay. there's a little sun-dried tomato in there too. It oh, adds nice. a little sweetness. Nice, love those. And then if you give that a quick stir for me. What are we going to do with this? We're going to extract the natural sugars out of the uh, onions and then of the peppers. And then the bacon is going to render down. It's going to give it a nice little rich fat content and obviously the smell of bacon. And we're going to give that a couple of minutes just to get that caramelization started. And now I'm going to put it on a medium heat. Now, we're making this a quick meal. So it will take about 20 minutes to start to finish to get the sauce ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some pasta. I've got my water started and I'm now I'm using a larger pot. I want to be able to whisk this water around and around. But I need a nice area so this spaghetti and I'm using a, a little angel air pasta or thin spaghetti because it cooks quicker. But it needs to have enough room to go into the pan as well. So it's always a good idea when you're doing pasta not to use a small saucepan. So as this comes to the boil, what I am going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And what that does, it stops the pasta from sticking. But what we're going to do, Haley, is when it's time to put the actual spaghetti in here, we're going to whisk it like this. By putting the pasta in and it's not moving the water, it could stick to the bottom. So what we're going to do now is I've just taken some ordinary Roma tomatoes. I'm going to throw these in. Have you ever seen one of them? It's a masher. Well, we're going to use that for the tomatoes. We're going to mash up the tomatoes okay. once we've stirred them, and that'll just help to get most of the seeds and the juice out of the tomatoes as they cook. I'm going to give a little seasoning now, a little salt and pepper. Now we're onto the pasta. Now, once we've cooked the spaghetti in there, we could add our vegetables in there just to kind of blanch them. 
What that means is we're going to par cook them. So when we mix them with the sauce later, they're already kind of cooked and al dente. Okay. We're going to start with these couple of baby carrots. But if you can chop them on a bias. Okay. So now Haley's doing the carrots. I'm going to give the tomatoes a little stir. Looking for a safe and fun outdoor adventure? Then let Palm Springs' world-famous Red Jeep Tours transport you to a desert wonderland. Choose from a variety of exciting adventures. Journey through the bones of the earth on our signature San Andreas Fault Tour at our private and exclusive Matate Ranch. Explore narrow-walled slot canyons, a natural palm oasis, and learn about local Native American culture. Red Jeep Tours, offering experiences that engage, educate, and entertain since 1988. Cornerstone Insurance Services is an independent brokerage firm that represents dozens of insurance carriers for all lines of insurance. We want to be your personal insurance agent to help navigate your best options and benefits. Hey Jan. Hi Chef. Look, for my restaurant, I need a professional chopping knife, I need a timer, and I need a thermometer. Okay. Plus gifts. Well, we know how you love our world famous choppers. Yes. I'm definitely gonna need two of those. I already have some wrapped just for you, Andrew. Okay. And we also have some beautiful Nora Fleming pieces I wanna show you, okay? Yeah, then? let's have a look. When Coachella Valley chefs are looking for that special knife or gadget, they come to Kitchen Kitchen in Indian Wells. And there's all your gifts. Thanks, Jan. I knew you'd have everything I needed. Kitchen Kitchen, for the chef in you. Welcome to Gelato Granucci, the little shop with the big flavors. Where our brilliant flavor designers bring you the art of gelato. Flavors like coffee, strawberry, salted caramel, cookie shot cones, gelato bars, and gelato cannolis. And now Gelato Granucci can be featured at your special event. Our scrumptious gelato will be served to your guests from our vintage cart. See you soon at Gelato Granucci in downtown Palm Springs. Hi, I'm Henry. And I'm Steve. Together we represent exotic motor cars here in Palm Springs. For the last 30 years, we've been the Valley's leading supplier of pre-owned exotic, luxury and classic cars. Don't just dream it, drive it. So Haley, you've finished the carrots. So now let's get to this pasta, what we're gonna do and how we're gonna cook it. We're gonna take that masher we talked about, the old fashioned masher. I'll take that from you. You wanna give them a little mash. That's exactly what we're looking for. Perfect. So that's good. So okay. we'll leave that for now. I'm gonna take a little bit of spaghetti and I'm gonna move it around like this. Oh. following the cyclone, and that'll prevent it sticking to the bottom. Those vegetables you chopped, if you just want to grab the carrots and the broccoli, and then we're going to mix that, actually, Haley, with this water of, of our pasta. We're just going to okay. dump that in. The pasta's about three quarters of the way cooked. By the time the vegetables are being cooked and blanched and have that al dente, everything's going to be ready. The best way to check is to take a little bit of pasta, and I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to. Oh. It's not Un ready. Uneventful. <laughs> it's not ready. So we're going to give it a few more minutes. Now, going back to our tomato sauce. Look at those tomatoes. Mm. They're nice and broken down. The so color now, just looks beautiful. It does. Now we're going to layer it. So together, I'm going to give you this. This is tomato paste. And then I'm going to bring over the sugar and the vinegar and explain what we're going to do. So tomato paste is concentrated tomatoes. And it's kind of like a binding agent. It's going to help the sauce thicken and also give flavor. So we'll give a, a couple of spoons full of tomato paste and you're going to mix that around for me. And then I'm going to add what we call the sweet and sour effect. It basically sparks your taste buds and all your saliva glands to get excited. And that's why we use it in cooking. So we're going to add simple granulated sugar. That's the sweetness, obviously. Okay. And for the sourness, I'm using white wine vinegar. And that's how we get our... It can be called a gastric in French, but we're not going to go down, that, down them terminologies. And you're stirring. So now we're going to start adding some more ingredients. So we got a lot of basil, okay. a lot of parsley, and this is going to be the really interesting one. This is a garlic paste. If you want to stir the basil, I will grab a spoon and we're going to add the garlic paste. With it being a paste, it blends in really easy. If you've ever tried chopping garlic, it's kind of difficult. All right, Haley, that looks gorgeous. Yeah, I can smell the bacon. I'm ready to eat already. And, and that, you can get that aroma from the fresh herbs yes. too. Now, romesco sauce, like I said, is basically a tomato and red pepper base sauce. What I like to do at the end is I like to have a little bit of smoking liquid. And I just put literally about a fluid ounce in there. And what that does, it creates this nice smokiness. 
which actually enriches the bacon in the actual dish. We'll check the seasoning and then we're going to blend it. Perfect. But I think that our pasta is ready now. We can do one more test. Here it is. Here it is. This is Moment got of it. truth. This is it. You ready? One, two, three. Oh, there you yes. go. It worked. <laughs> our pasta is ready. If you think about it, mm -hmm. our pasta is cooked perfectly and our vegetables are cooked now. So now all we're going to do is bring these over, strain them. Now normally you could cool this down with some ice water or cold water, but we're going to eat this pretty much right now. We've got about five more minutes left on the sauce, but this is when I add my pasta now, because what happens is when pasta's hot, it absorbs liquid. When it's cold, just like what we do, we kind of, kind of, you know, crunch up a little bit. So this is going to help the tomato flavors go into the pasta as well. And it always tastes better the next day. That's why we always eat pizza and things the following morning. So into here we go. We're going to move it around, mix it. It's actually looking like a meal now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that itself is a beautiful meal. Wow. And you've still got some uh, vegetable goodness in there. And again, the fresh herbs are a big thing for me your garlic and the bacon. So that's one part of a meal for us. Yes. We are gonna take it a step further. We're gonna notch it up a little bit and we're gonna add a protein. Okay. And from there, we can actually put the protein with this and make a complete gourmet meal now. All right, let's do Shall it. Shall we do it? Yeah. Okay. Bobby Botina's Mexican and American Grill, now at the River and Rancho Mirage. Bobby Botina's, live entertainment. Great food, cool vibe. See you at Bobby Botinas. I got what it takes. I've got what it takes. I've got what it takes. Welcome to Desert Outreach Synagogue, the voice of the valley. Place called home to anyone who needs one. A place of incredible music, community, conversation, and connection. Come join us. You already belong. Hello, I'm Carlos King. My passion is designing fabulous homes. I work closely with my clients to achieve the look and feel that matches their vision. My greatest satisfaction is the wow factor when my clients see our finished project. Let me translate your dreams into a visual reality. Call me at 760-880-9987. So you finally made it to retirement, but now you are struggling to pay your bills and you worry that you have no options. You can stop worrying because if you're 62 years or older and you own your own home, there's a quick and easy solution to getting the money you need to enjoy your retirement. Call Essex Mortgage now about how you can get a reverse mortgage. Essex Mortgage is an equal housing lender and is not affiliated with any state or federal agency. Loans are subject to credit approval. Loans made or arranged pursuant to a California financing law license, number 603-G833, NMLS 70377. Thank you to Gelata Granucci for providing closed captioning for the hearing impaired. So now everybody, me and Haley are gonna do the salmon. We're gonna like take this up a little notch and we're going to cook a really nice piece of Scottish salmon. This is what we call a center cut piece of salmon, which means it comes from basically here. Now a fish will tailor down to the tail. Now there is nothing wrong with eating the tail end of the salmon or any kind of fish, but when you go to the store, you really want to get them the exactly the same size. And as you can see, I've cut mine mm -hmm. so they're identical. Why? So they cook equally at the same time. If this is the saute pan, mm -hmm. and I put that in like that, because of the heat, it's gonna curl up like this. And now it's cooking unevenly. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we turn it over like this, and I hold the fish like this as if I was kind of, you know, make, I'm trying to make a little kind of oval shape. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a sharp knife, and very slowly with a sharp knife, you're gonna do maybe two or three little slides. And why you do that is because this is going to stop that from happening. So, medium to high heat to start with. Olive oil. This is gonna be a little hot. Okay. So what I generally do is, I don't wanna just put this directly in the pan. 
What it will do, it will disperse all the oil and then all I'm left with is, is a really hot surface and, and the skin of the fish and it could stick. So what I do do is I get my oils really hot, give it a shake and watch. I run it around like this. Okay. That way I'm kind of already oiling the fish and look, it won't stick. And I always go presentation down first. Rub it around. I don't disperse the oil and sit it. The reason why I do presentation side down first is because I only have to turn it once before it goes in the oven. Got it. And that's it. And that's how we do it. And look. Not sticking. Yeah. So a little bit of light pepper and then a little kosher salt on there and we're good to go. So now what Haley's doing is seasoning it up and this has given me enough time to get a nice crispy sear on the skin of the salmon. So now, look at this. See how, Ooh, and you see how now that little incision you made mm -hmm. has stopped the salmon from curling up. All right, good. So one minute on pretty much each side. I've got my oven set at 350. That's a good average temperature. And I'm gonna throw these in. Now the salmon's probably gonna take anything from seven to nine minutes to get to 135 degrees. Okay. That's a medium, medium rare. 140 will take you to a, like a little bit more of a well done. So in the oven we go, seven minutes to start with. So we're gonna make this shrimp crumble now, which is gonna sit on top. All right, so again, I'm gonna use a saute pan, nice thick area here so it doesn't burn. Medium heat. We're gonna take our olive oil again, my little teapot. Medium heat, a little bit of olive oil, and then we're gonna start with these uh, building blocks for our crumble. Oh, yeah. So this is gonna go in first. And the, the other thing about this garlic is because it's already pre-cooked, mm -hmm. it's weaker. So I can use it in multiple ingredients. It's already in here and now it's in here. Mm -hmm. All right, you can hear the sizzle start on the uh, garlic and the, and the ginger. Now I've got some sun-dried tomatoes because they complement this. Mm -hmm. A little bit of red pepper in there too. We already have the onion and bacon in the spaghetti, so we don't need that one. But what we're gonna do with this is give it a quick, quick saute. Like my friend, Chef Kelly says, imagine your saucepan okay. with a slice of bread in there and you wanna flip the bread. So with two hands, you bring it towards you and you flip it over. All right, give it a shot. Okay. One. Two hands. Two. We're wiggling it around. Three, flip. We're tossing it back. Oh, yes! <laughs> it worked. I'm not quite ready for my grilled cheeses and my pancakes yet, but... I think we should leave start. it on a winning, on a winning oh, like that. Sounds good. All right, good. So now that's starting to cook down. I'm using a shrimp. This is called a 1315 shrimp. Why is it that? Well, shrimp come in sizes. So the size, it can either... If you go in the store, say you go down to the store today, you, you'll see the shrimp in the, in the seafood display. Mm -hmm. It'll say... 13 to 15s or 16 to 20s. Okay. That means there's 16 to 20 shrimp per pound. Got it, okay. So the smaller the number, the bigger the shrimp. Shrimp that are smaller are sweeter. The bigger the shrimp, they may look attractive, but they don't sometimes have the same sweetness. Okay. This is right in the medium. Okay. It's got a good size for presentation and it keeps a nice sweetness. So you're going with a little bit of a Goldilocks vibe right in the middle. Exactly. So let's do a couple of shrimps. We have two each. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is, them shrimp take about two minutes to cook. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil now to it. Okay. So we added a, about two tablespoons full in the beginning to cook off the, the first part of the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Now I'm adding another two to three tablespoons full of oil. And what that's going to do, it's going to help me take these breadcrumbs and make this into a little kind of crumble style. So I use these coarse looking breadcrumbs, which are panko breadcrumbs, and they're very common. And then from there, now I am gonna use my wooden spoon, but now I'm just gonna do a figure of eight. Turn this way down now, cause it's kind of cooking. And I'm gonna try and make this into little clumps of breadcrumbs to make it crumbly. Now as these then cook out, we'll let the shrimp cook a little bit longer. And then the final thing to this, all I do is add some freshly chopped basil and tarragon and any kind of herbs you have, either in the garden or what you have left over. And that just gives it some freshness too. All right, good. So, ooh, let's move this around. And that's, that, that's ready. So we're gonna leave that to one side and let that just kind of simmer and cook out until the shrimps then go to a well done. So how do you wanna do a plate up? Should we have a little, little 
competition seals? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to put two plates out. Okay. I'm going to give you the option to take whichever you want first, whether okay. it be the pasta, the shrimp, or the salmon, and you're going to do a plate up, and I'm not going to say a word, and mm -hmm. I'm going to do my plate up, okay. and then we're going to judge. You're going to put blinders on so I don't see what you're oh, doing? Oh, no, you can look, because we're right side by side. Mm. But you're going to go first so I see what you're doing before. Oh, because you, you want to cheat? You want to see what I'm going to do? I want to see if I can outdo you, yes. <laughs> All right. So let's get some plates together. When you think of Palm Springs, you think of sunshine, palms, and beautiful backyard pools. Let Sunny Palm Pool Service take the worry out of maintaining the most important pool around, yours. Sunny Palm Pool Service offers concierge service for your pool or spa. Top quality and reliable maintenance and repairs. Sunny Palm Pool Service. We'll do the work. You do the relaxing. Call Rod at 760-333-4804. Bobby Botina's Mexican and American Grill, now at the River and Rancho Mirage. Bobby Botina's, live entertainment, great food, cool vibes. See you at Bobby Botina's. I got what it takes. I've got what it takes. I've got what it takes. Hi, I'm Henry. And I'm Steve. Together we represent exotic motor cars here in Palm Springs. For the last 30 years, we've been the Valley's leading supplier of pre-owned exotic, luxury and classic cars. Don't just dream it, drive it. Cornerstone Insurance Services is an independent brokerage firm that represents dozens of insurance carriers for all lines of insurance. We want to be your personal insurance agent to help navigate your best options and benefits. Looking for a safe and fun outdoor adventure? Then let Palm Springs' world-famous Red Jeep Tours transport you to a desert wonderland. Choose from a variety of exciting adventures. Journey through the bones of the earth on our signature San Andreas Fault Tour at our private and exclusive Matate Ranch. Explore narrow-walled slot canyons, a natural palm oasis, and learn about local Native American culture. Red Jeep Tours, offering experiences that engage, educate, and entertain since 1988. All right, Haley, I've got the fish out of the oven. I'm going to let that rest. We're going to leave that for at least 30 seconds, and it's just going to let the fish relax a little. You can see around it, it's still cooking, so it'll take it up a couple of degrees. Now we're going to do our little plating competition. I'm going to give you the tongs. Okay. So you can either use that to plate the spaghetti, or you can use a spoon. I'll give you that option. I'll even carry it over for you. Thank you. After Heavy that... lifting right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> After that, you have a choice of doing the shrimp, because that's one of our upgrades, or the salmon. I'll let you pick. And again, like I say, you could use the tongs or the spoon. Okay. You're first. All right, we're going to jump in with the tongs. Let's see how good she is on this one. I feel like I've seen people twist. So gonna... That does work, yeah. Here we go. Starting here. We're going in right in the center. And we're Perfect. Gonna and obviously, you know, by doing center of the plate, it gives you more white around the sides. That way, you can it showcases the food. Okay. All really, right. I would eat so much more than that, but we're going to start small. Okay. Because my eyes might be bigger than my stomach at this point. All right, good. Now, I'm okay. going to bring you over. Would you like the salmon or the shrimp? Um, well, I want both, but let's start with the, the salmon. Okay. So, again, tongs. You could use that tongs and you can place that salmon. Okay. I'm going to set it right off to the side. And actually, that's the fish that you uh, that did the mine. incision. I, I went for mine. I thought I would... Favoritism. You know. All right. Now, you have a choice of where you're going to put your... Okay. Shrimp crumble garnish, and you're allowed two shrimp. Thank you. And you have your spoon if you want to do a little crumble, and okay. you have your tongs. All right, so we're going with two shrimp. Yes. Do one on each side. Oops. All right, we're putting the crumble right on top of the fish, actually. So now I feel like it's appropriate, yes, thank you, is okay. to wipe everything down because... Perfect. Now, while Haley wipes down her presentation, I'm going to sneak across you, okay. and I'm going to do mine. So here's what I'm going to do. Haley did the center of the plate, so I have to be a little different. I'm going to mix it so I get all my sauce in. I am going to do the twist. We all do the twist. I knew the twist. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put mine to the side and then very, very carefully slide it out. Some finger, finger tools. I'm going to use a little bit of the tomato and the relish. Let's move that out of the way. Put that on top. Make sure I've got some apple bacon on there. And then layer that on there. So mine's on one side of the plate. Let's move that around. I'm going to take my piece of salmon and I'm going to put that on an angle so it sits up. What it does, it elevates the actual salmon, and so people have a focal point to look at right away. So now for the shrimp, which I classify the garnish, I'm gonna put it on this side. So I've started working my way sideways across the plate. Mm -hmm. When I present it, I'm actually gonna turn it that way so they can see the salmon and everything in front of them. And then I'm just gonna do my crumble on the side and over the shrimp. Okay. All right, Haley. so here's the moment of truth. Mm -hmm. We are both obviously very competitive, and this is shown in our plating. But let's do a quick recap of this healthy 30 minutes or so meal. So we started with that sauce. We sorted off our onions, our bacon. We had tomatoes, garlic. We basically caramelized those vegetables first. We had a little tomato puree with the tomatoes being softened up and peppers, and then that little smoking liquid at the end gives it a really nice kind of enriched tomato sauce. Haley was kind enough to do the pasta. We cooked that in the salted water with a little bit of uh, oil, so it moved around. And then we both seared off our salmons and we made the crumble and added the shrimp to the crumble. So now it's time to taste it and see which one well, they're both going to taste the they're same. They're both going to taste the same, but I don't know. Like you said, plating is, is 70, 75%, so... The visual is. It, it might make the flavor. Who do you think's the, who do you think's got the better presentation? I mean, like, you know, I want to pick mine. I want to win. But at the same time, you have the experience, so I'm going to, I'm going to chop it up to you. I would actually say that yours is better than mine. So you're hiring me? I didn't say that. I just said yours is better than mine. <laughs> All right, let's give it a taste. Do you want to grab your knife and fork? Sure. And now you're going to teach me about the weather, right? When we finish this yes, segment? Yes, we're, we're going back to meteorology school. Mm. See, that salmon is cooked at about 100, and that's, that's hit about a 140, which is just at what the, the majority of people would eat salmon at, that medium stage. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your, I love the broccoli and all the green vegetables in this, little twirl on the pasta. And remember, this tastes really good the next day too. So don't throw the sauce away, save it in an airtight container, make it the day ahead of time if you want for a dinner party. But that is a really simple, probably 30 to 40 minute meal, which could last you two days. It's fantastic. The smokiness is what definitely pops to me out of the pasta, the salmon. I'll admit, I'm not always the biggest fan of salmon. Mm. Just It can have that extra fishy taste if yeah. it's not done correctly. This is done correctly. Oh, good. Excellent. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for so much for having me, for feeding me, for a little friendly competition. Absolutely. And I'll see all you guys next week.